Well, I'm getting ready to make the best crock pot beef stew. So I've got my beef, my celery, my red skin potatoes, my beef broth, my garlic, onions, uh, carrots, and peas and corn. And uh, I'll show you how it goes. But right now, I'm getting ready to throw some butter in my hot pan. And uh, I'm just going to sear the edge of the meat to keep the flavor in. So be back soon. I really don't want it to cook. I'm just going to brown one side, brown the other, and then I'm done with it. Now the other side searing. I'm not going to cook it in this pan. I just want to seal it. And it's just about done. And I'm going to throw it in the pot with the other ingredients. I've got my beef broth, my carrots, my meat, the tomato paste. Still got to do the garlic, the onion, and the celery. And the uh, peas and corn uh, go like an hour before it's ready. It takes 10 hours to cook on low. How do you get peel the garlic? What I've always done is just cut the tip off it like this and then just smash it with the rest of the knife and that just breaks it open so that you can just get in there and peel it off like that. Very simple. You don't spend all your time messing with the skin and then they're ready to chop. What's that? <laughs> We got uh, all my ingredients in there except my peas and my corn and uh, it's going to cook for like 10 hours Then we'll add the peas and corn and add a little bit of flour and make the gravy stew but it should be delicious tomorrow oops sorry I wasn't watching the camera I was watching the stew all right that's it all right let's see how it looks Ooh, looks and smells good. We'll take our spoon, give it a stir. Looks nice. I also take uh, take one of these carrots, push it against the wall, and slice it with a wooden spoon to make sure that it just cuts in half like that instead of you know, kind of like butter. Instead of it has some snap to it because it needs more cooking if it snaps like that. Now I take some cold water. And uh, a quarter cup of flour, and that will thicken up the gravy. It's an old grandma's trick to stir it up. Just do the shape. And the reason you use cold water is to keep it from getting lumpy. Just make sure that's mixed thoroughly. Creamy. It is. So we'll just stir that in. Actually expand a little bit and absorb some of this liquid and it'll also get a little bit darker and then the next thing we'll add in about a half hour to an hour is the uh, peas and corn all right see you in a bit almost done let's see how it looks oh, it looks a lot thicker since we added that flour Yeah, it's much better. So the last thing it needs is our peas and carrots. Frozen actually works better than, than uh, fresh because you don't want it to really disintegrate in the stew. And actually, we'll let those uh, get in there and then we'll change it from uh, cooking to just warm because we don't want these to turn to mush. We'll just stir these in there. That's it, the best crock pot beef stew. I've already tasted it, I know it tastes great, but it looks great too. And we will move this over to warm. You can freeze it, use it for lunch, use it for dinner, use it for Super Bowl. I'm gonna use it for my meals probably for the next day or two. Enjoy.